Okay guys, another video. Um, it's another album review. I was debating on what albums I was going to review this video tonight, but last night I listened to this album a few times, and today, so I figured, why the fuck not review it? And that is Wolverine Blues by Entombed. Now, this is their third album. Now this album I know is a little bit, now this album was a departure musically, but it was obviously a departure musically from the traditional death metal sound, a little bit more of a groove oriented with the death and roll shit, but I'm actually a fan of this stuff. I'm not a death and roll fanatic. I don't like some of the stupid shit out there, but this is pretty good. So I want to do it on the line for this one was, uh, of course, LG Petrov on vocals, rest in peace. Uh, Lars Rosenberg on bass, Alex and uh, uh, Alex Headlet. I was gonna say that, I may have said that wrong. And oof, Sitter Blood, I may have said that on guitars. And of course, Nick Anderson on the drums. So, now this album, musically, it does have that groove sound to it. You could definitely see that, you know, shit they did, you know, with like Pantera type shit. They on this was released a year after Volker's Play of Power. It's not obnoxious or anything. It's not too bad. It album does have a lot of fun for it. And also the vocals from uh, LG Petrov, I really do enjoy on here. Uh, production on this, I do enjoy. It has a really cool skit sound to it. I listened to the full dynamic range edition, by the way, of this. So, if you're wondering, that's the edition you should listen to. Um, this album, like I said, you know, I know this album kind of gets mixed reception amongst the fans, but personally, I think it's a really fun album. Uh, so it's, it's only 30 minutes long, so it's a short listen. It's not going to take up too much of your day. So let's talk about the track listing on this album. I Master kicks off the album. Really cool stuff going on here. A Rotten Soil. One of the best songs on here, in my opinion. And we got the title track, Wolverine Blues, which is pretty awesome. I really like the video for this one. Uh, Demon, awesome song. Contempt, good one. Full of Hell, probably my second favorite song on here. Blood Song, Hallow Man, Heaven's Dive, that's a good one. And uh, Out of Hand, which is you know, a good way to close the album. It's only 35 minutes, so... Not a very long album whatsoever. Also, I think this album uh, is definitely just a lot of fun. That's what I like about it. It's fun. Uh, some of the songs are a little ridiculous. I mean, the title tracks out the Wolverine Animal, and it's pretty cool. Uh, the lyrics on here are pretty well done. They're nothing groundbreaking, but they're fun. That's kind of how I feel this album. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it's a lot of fun, and you'll definitely enjoy it when you listen to it. So... I say, if you haven't heard this before, most of you guys have. If you're listening to this review or on my channel, you've probably heard of this shit. But if you haven't, check it out. It's really good shit. I give this about, uh, eh, I really can't think of much negative about it. Outside of, yeah, the groove shit, you know, for some is a little bit hit and miss. So, I'd probably give this about a nine. You know, I think all the songs in here are killer. So, definitely a cool album. Worth giving a listen. Um... And yeah, guys, so if you like this shit, stay brutal, subscribe, all that good shit. Uh, I should have a lot more reviews coming up soon, so stay looking forward to those.